Well, we're talking about sprucing up our home for spring. Now we've covered the inside. Now we're headed outside. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you are one of those looking for the perfect way to beautify your yard or garden. Well, Delmarva Life's Cleo Green stopped by Garden Carvers in Milton, where they showed us some simple gardening tricks. April showers bring May flowers. I think we ought to trim that crepe myrtle away yeah. from the house. And so and, uh, can a little creativity inspired by Mike Carver and Bill Peely. Yeah, in their garden, you can find daffodils and, and an assortment of different plants. Mike and Bill are both landscapers who own and operate Garden Carvers, Inc. in Milton. It's a 15-year business that has bloomed on Delmarva. Mike discovered his green thumb when he was a child. As a kid, I used to go out in the woods and just dig up trees and plants and bring them home and plant them all over the yard. And to my parents' dismay, but they, uh, yeah, it was, it was an exciting time and I've always carried that with me ever since. Mike and Bill spend a majority of their time sprucing up many properties. We do a lot of seasonal maintenance. Uh, now that the, uh, the economy has taken a turn, we do a lot more maintenance work, which has kind of been kept us going for the last you know, eight or nine years uh, you know, during the, 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 the problems with the economy. Mike says he is also artistic in nature and likes to design gardens from the start. Many people, yeah, you know, they they will feel overwhelmed by the choices that are out there, and then what to put in and what will do well in this area. But Mike says, if you're up for the challenge, you can beautify your yard in minutes by planting flowers in a container. Mike says an amazing flower container garden like this one begins with a simple method. It's called the thriller, spiller, and filler. So, Mike, what are we going to do here? You picked that up with no problem. Now you notice that the container is very lightweight and especially you have to look in the bottom, make sure there are drain holes, which this one does not have. It has the places where it'd probably be easy to take a screwdriver and a hammer and poke a hole or take at least a quarter inch drill bit and make four holes in the bottom. So what do we do next? I like to use a piece of screen. You could use landscape fabric, even small rocks to place over the holes. And what this does. Oh yeah, look at that. Is prevent soil from leaching out when you go to water your, your container. Hey, speaking of soil, what kind of soil should we use? What I like to use is a high quality potting soil. Uh, this one has fertilizer already mixed in, which is good for six months, but you'll never have to feed your plants again while you, after you plant them. Another thing is that it, it provides good drainage. You'll see these little white specks. They're called, it's called perlite. Uh, you should see that in your potting soil. It should be loose and it also should be moistened. Uh, if you use a very dry soil during this procedure, as you're filling it, you may want to add water. This one is pretty moist, so we don't really need to do that. Once the bag is emptied somewhat, you can take your soil and keep pouring it into where you think you need to fill it. Also keep pressing down because this, this soil will settle once you go to water. So you want to make sure it's pressed in firmly. That looks like an interesting plant. Okay, This is our thriller plant. It's a red Dracaena, Dracaena spike. And what I like to do is just pop it out of the container. And you'll notice it's pretty tightly packed with roots. What I like to do is just take your fingers and tickle the bottom a little bit. Just kind of loosen those, those roots. Make a small indentation. Now you want to make sure that you don't plant it any deeper than what the level was before the top level of the plant. Push it in and push it in fairly firmly. Okay, but what about those flowers? This is a straw flower. This is my filler plant, one of my fillers. And I usually like to use uh, threes and fives and odd numbers of plants to, to circle uh, the container. Again, they're tight in their pots, just tickle a little bit. Make a small hole. I see. And place it so you leave room for the outer edge when your spillers go in. This is an orange and red lantana. It actually trails and makes a filler also. So it's a thriller and a spiller. Hey, I love the different colors, the yellow and orange. And I have three of these again. So I'm going to, and you're also filling the space around the pot. So you're, you're going to go in between the two that you, the three that you just planted. And what about those two on the side? Now these are my spiller plants. These are called uh, sweet potato vine and it's marguerite is the, the name. And it's got lime green leaves. There's some, there's one called blackie, which has a dark brown or purplish color leaf. And there's some that even has speckles and stripes uh, with pink. And I think that one's called a tricolor. And when I want to put the trailers, the spillers out on the outer edge, again, 
in between the plants that we've already planted and sort of tilt them towards the edge so they'll spill right over. Oh, I love it. You inspired me. And now you're ready to spring into action. Mike says the last step is to find an area in your yard or garden to display the flower container and make sure that it will receive plenty of sunlight. For Mike and Bill, they say carving your own garden can be quite simple. Well, the Garden Carvers team says the best time to start planting your flowers is right after Mother's Day. The warmer weather will help your flowers stay healthy and strong. Oh, now I'm itching to get yeah, out really. and plant my own. <laughs> well, from one hobby to another, up next on Delmarva Life, the story of a man who put together an 18,000 piece puzzle. Wow. What well, fueled his passion for the project. Plus, find out how mind games like puzzles can really help your health. Talking about health? Dr. Oz has more on the fat in your blood that may be hurting yours. Your body needs actually thrives on triglycerides. They're the fats in your blood that help fuel your body. But you can get too much of a good thing. And new research reveals high triglyceride levels are linked to increased heart disease risks, especially in women, even if your cholesterol levels are normal or low. So why isn't your doctor talking about the fat in your blood? The plain and simple truth is that we weren't really trained to think that it was that important. The numbers that we were most comfortable dealing with were the cholesterol, the total, and then subsequently HDL and LDL. The studies that have been done on triglycerides have not been as great a number nor as well designed. The more we learn about the role of triglycerides in heart disease, the more reason you and your doctor need to know your number. 